This is where your iPhone 6 comes from. These are the first secret pictures from inside the factories that produce for Apple. An exhausted workforce, people sleeping on their brakes, others falling asleep as they work. In 2010, after 14 workers killed themselves at another factory producing iPhones, Apple published promises to protect workers. So have things changed? Our undercover reporters got jobs through agencies, and within minutes, Apple's rules were broken. Apple told us they've seen no evidence of coaching. On ID cards, Apple says they've done more than any company to prevent the widespread abuse of migrant workers. Shifts have overtime built in, so workers regularly do more than 60 hours a week, more than Apple's guidelines. The electronics industry is one of the fastest growing global industries. Public institutions in the EU buy 94 billion euros worth of electronics every year. Electronics Watch is an independent monitoring organization working to achieve respect for labor rights in the global electronics industry. The electronic industry is global. It engages people from all over the world, from the mineral mines in Ghana and Congo to the electronics manufacturing in South Korea, Vietnam and China. Many of the semiconductors for the large computer brands are produced in South Korea. A factory worker here faces 500 to 1,000 different chemicals daily. The global electronics industry faces serious challenges when it comes to providing a safe and healthy work environment for its laborers. who want to um, improve conditions within their supply chains haven't had an effective mechanism by which to do so. Electronics Watch is providing that mechanism. It enables the public sector to speak with one voice to the market uh, by using common tools and common contracts and it monitors factories so the public sector can find out what's actually going on so that then they can put pressure on their suppliers to improve conditions. <laughs>